the cyclotron continues to be a uh, facility that functions for, for basic research in physics, and our physics department is extremely successful in doing that work. But it, it interestingly, ha is also used to generate a proton beam that's used to uh, improve human health, to provide um, uh, tools for fighting cancer that do less tissue damage than uh, broader x-rays. And we're finding ways to connect some of the investments we make in big equipment to immediate practical applications. And that's a very nice example of that. The reality of it is that this is a machine that weighs six million pounds. This is 40 feet in diameter, two stories tall, and is certainly not transportable in the slightest. is here is, is the machine. I do like to show my patients uh, this plastic block. You're actually looking at the proton beam here. It just so happens that this lucite has the same electron density that you and I do. And as the beam passes through the plastic, it is being decelerated by its attraction to the electrons within the plastic and it finally slows up until it finally has no more energy. It cannot go farther and it stops. And when it stops, it gives up its remaining potential energy in something known as the Bragg peak. But the important part is that no radiation comes out beyond that point. Welcome to the, to the site that patients oftentimes don't see. This, right. this is the backside of our gantry. Okay. It rotates at one RPM and with great precision. It's really a testimony to not only the craftsmanship in building this, but the local craftsmanship in constructing it and balancing it and lining it up, which is a whole art unto itself. Actually, the way it's constructed is there are two large rings of steel here that are actually machined on the largest lathe in Europe um, from a single billet of steel. And they rotate on these large bearings, and then the two rings are tied together with this lattice of steel, whose purpose is to hold the magnets that rotate the proton beam. The beam actually comes in in the end of the magnet and then is held by the gantry and rotated around to aim at the patient. On the other side of the wall is where we are standing and the patient would be held. You might be interested to know that we use uh, approximately 2.8 megawatt of electricity to run the cyclotron and the gantries. We need to pay to support the beam and the personnel to maintain the beam. There's quite a bit of infrastructure that's right. behind this to keep this active.